Okay, a few indices questions to do here. Um, question four, part one. We have p cubed and the whole thing is cubed. So this is a test of your power of a power uh, law, which says that we multiply the powers in this case. So three times three is nine. Your answer there is p to the power nine. Now, part two involves the multiplication rule and the division rule. So first of all, we'll start by simplifying the top. We have a three and a two, which we can multiply quite easily to give us the six. So you treat the numbers first and then look at letters which can be combined. Next we've got q to the power 4 times q to the power 5. This is the multiplication law where you add the powers. So we get q to the power 9. This is still divided by q to the power 3. I haven't changed that yet. But in the next step I will do that because we've got the power 9 divided by q to the power 3. So we subtract the powers and we have q to the power 6. And that's your answer. Okay, question five, part one, um, worth one mark, should be dead easy because you just memorize the fact that anything to the power zero is equal to one, apart from zero to the power zero, which is undefined, but anything else works like that. Now, a negative power means you take the reciprocal, so minus two means it's one over four squared, so in this case, one over 16. Um, Fractional powers are really important. The top part, the numerator, tells you the power that you have to raise to. The denominator of the fraction tells you what root to take. So in this case here, we have a 2 on the bottom. That means we're going to take the square root. Um, and then the 3 on the top means we need to cube it. So square root first and then cube it. Um, so the square root of 16 is, of course, 4. When you cube that, you get 64. By the way, you can cube it first and then square root it, but it's usually easier to do the square root first. Now here we've got a bit more going on. We've got um, a fractional power, but we have a minus sign. So the minus sign, a bit like in 5 part 2, tells you that it's a reciprocal. So you do 1 over the value that you've got. Um, and like in 5 part 3, we've got a fraction. So the top half of the fraction is the power that you raise to, and the bottom half of the fraction is the root that you take. So we will look at, deal with these one step at a time, we'll deal with the minus sign first, which means take the reciprocal. So instead of 8, I have 1 over 8, and that now deals with the minus sign, so the minus sign goes and I just have 2 thirds as my power. And I can use this business of powers and roots to say that the 3 means that I'm taking the cube root of 8. Um, so I write the cube root of 8, and the 2 on the top of that fraction means that I have to square it. So, of course, the cube root of 8 is 2, so I have 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 over 4, or a quarter. And there we are.